say something. I just switched. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey, hey. We're going to okay. try this again. So yeah. we're going to press record and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to I'm Just Saying. <laughs> Every time. Can't get right. I'm going to get it right next time. I'm going to okay. be on it. Man, I really do do that every time. It's okay. I mean, yes, you do, but it's okay. I know who I married. At least I won't say, like, what I feel like I'm trained to say. Because then I'd be promoting something else. That's true. So. Somebody else's podcast or YouTube channel. Whatever. Um, so we're trying the recording again. Yep, round two. Because it cut out. Yep, phone died. So, hopefully this works. We yeah. See. All right. Um, so. So it's definitely later. For sure. Than uh, we usually uh, film these things. So bear with us in case it sounds more crazy. However, we did get a nice nap in. Yes, yes, we did. Like two hours today, pretty much. Did I sleep with that? Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Well, hour and a half. The kids slept two hours, so we slept about an hour and a half. Yeah, and baby girl needed every bit of that two hours because she, she had, had a rough a day. Rough day. Like That's my it. edge up rough. Like, like it. <laughs> like if I took this off rough. Yeah, it was it was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, I won't even get into all the details because somebody called CPS on us. Mm. But it was it wasn't even. Like, it was all her. She's doing. teething. Yeah. She's well. The second time wasn't necessarily her fault. I thought she was going to fall. I mean, she fell backwards, her. but yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. She fell on the bed, so, yeah. Both times, she fell on the bed, but she stayed on the bed. Yeah, she stayed on the bed. Just want to clarify. She <laughs> fell into my knee, though. Yeah, so you have to say that part. <laughs> That's the part the CPS is going to get called for. Y'all yeah, better mind your business. That's all. Don't get wrapped up in an entanglement. Worried about us wrong use of the word <laughs> i just feel like if she threw that out there that could be used for a whole bunch of stuff now <laughs> oh my goodness that was hilarious but anyway any uh catch-ups or updates or um today was the first day of me working out <laughs> again um yeah it was good it was tough but gotta gotta find a new motivation. So that was that was good. Got mm -hmm. some got some accountability inside the house and out. So a couple of friends are gonna check up on me, see how I'm doing. Today was the first day we successfully did not sing Hamilton or watch Hamilton. Oh, I already made a Hamilton reference in this oh. Brown cast already. Wait. I know who I married. <laughs> Hamilton line between Eliza and Alexander. I feel like you say that all the time, though. I do, but now so it's I intentional. Don't, <laughs> I don't even. I didn't even get no. That that's true. Line, so. Yeah, but when I said it, I was thinking of Hamilton. So, but yeah, I normally say it. Well, there's that. There it goes. You know. But no, we didn't sing it. Mm, we play didn't watch it, it. Watch it. Yeah, now that's it. Even on my Ooh. run, I didn't. Actually, I retract that. I did see some things on YouTube, mm. and I did look at them. Mm. Um, but like, I didn't watch the show. That's true. So we're making progress. We're making progress. We're, we're getting we're... out of our obsession phase. <laughs> we'll see. I think today was just an off day. We've yeah. been waiting for rain, and then it drizzled for two seconds. Mm -hmm. That that's. Like what quarantine life has come to. Like we get excited for the rain. 
I feel like it just it helps you feel better about staying in the house <laughs> it's true. because it's like well it's raining like what else would we do anyway we're right. stuck in the house so it makes you feel better because it's an excuse to be inside yeah like and we watch movies and we don't feel bad mm-hmm. yeah but I feel like when it's just bright and sunny then you just I I just feel like a bum I'm like what mm. am I doing and everybody just seems extra annoying so mm -hmm. but speaking of um extra annoying people we thought today's topic <laughs> <laughs> would be some we were gonna say the top 10 but we didn't write them down so i don't no. know how many we have that was my fault because we were just spitballing and then she was brainstorming like crazy she had a whole thunderstorm over here and oh of mm -hmm. things yes. yeah all so we're gonna talk about out the the top few things we'll say that that kids do that just annoy the mess out of you now we are only speaking from having um two under two <laughs> yes essentially. two under two so we almost you know 2.5 Right. So He's not yet three. there could be other things that if we, you know, film this next year and then the year after, we could have more ammo. But right now, mm -hmm. we're just going with the, our personal experiences. Yeah. So, um, so we're we only talking about our kids. We can't talk about nobody else's kids. No, we'll leave our high school students out of it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to let you kick it off because you had the yeah. most. Okay. So, I mean, just go with one we'll at a time. Back and then, okay. Yeah. I think it's something. So, sorry if I take one of yours in advance. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Um, so one of the most annoying things for me would be they're two faced. <laughs> Little kids are two faced. Over here, these kids have all the fits, all the tantrums. And then they go out to one of their grandparents' house. To one of their grandparents' house or daycare. Or... And they're like, Your kids are just the best. <laughs> they're so quiet. They napped for seven hours today. Right. <laughs> they, we out here barely getting 30 minutes <laughs> right. on a normal day. <laughs> they don't have accidents. I mean, he shared all his toys. He said, Yes please and thank you and i mean and hear me right like he he is a good kid right she is a decent kid <laughs> but and i'm gonna say decent because she's kind of coming into yes, her yes. personality and she's teething right now so um but still i just feel like why why you gotta be like that mm. yeah that annoys me what about you um so I don't know how common this is, but um, the constant need for attention. <laughs> and I get it. They're little kids. But sometimes you can play by yourself. <laughs> like you got all the toys in front of you and you still want to be held or, or tickled or... Or you still want to go for the thing that you shouldn't be playing with. Mm -hmm. Ooh, brand new toys. Let's play with the socket. Not saying that they've ever done that. I just looked over to my right and saw a socket. But still, like, really? You, yep. you can't think of anything else to Nothing do? Nothing else. But I want the box. Mm -hmm. Not the toy mm -mm. that was in the box. Mm -mm. Just give me the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, the box and... And all the little plastic pieces they use to hold the toy up, that's a choking hazard. Let me get those two. Mm -hmm. So is that your next annoying thing? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, was just, it was just giving me it a bad yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Back. So I'm going to take it there. When you finally get them down or you finally get mm -hmm. a piece of quiet and you're with your partner and you're like, we've got some time. Let's be grown. Wow. <laughs> we didn't even time that. <laughs> but every time, they just find a way to interrupt. Yeah. We just learned 
to let them cry out. <laughs> Y'all going to sleep. <laughs> okay. Um, I think my next annoying thing would be... Uh, it kind of ties back in with the last one I said, but just taking stuff that's not yours. Like, with each other, even. I mean... So she playing with something and he want to take it. A rattle. He, he playing with something, she want to take mm -hmm. it. And it's like... And she's mobile now. She's figured out how to be mobile. Right. So she'll crawl over to him and, and take mm -hmm. this whatever's in his hand. Okay. Um, he'll walk over to her <laughs> and take whatever out of her head. And at one point, he was over here trying to be a cartoon character. Ha ha ha. You'll never find it now. We First no all, longer let him watch that, that cartoon. But he would throw it. He would like pick it up and throw it. And like, ha, 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 ha. You'll never find it now. And if you know who we're talking about, then you know the cartoon. He Shame doesn't watch that. that cartoon anymore. Please don't have respond. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got enough viewers to get sponsored. <laughs> but man, I was like, can you teach these kids something different? But yeah, he and he just cracked up. He thought mm. it was the funniest thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's in tears. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, my next pet peeve or most annoying thing. Okay, maybe this is just our child, but he's been doing this new thing where he'd be like, "Son, do you want a popsicle?" No. Okay, so you put the popsicles away. But my popsicle, my popsicle. I'm like, but you always have to say no. Always. No is the first default answer. Just no. I think he learned that from you. Because yeah, yeah it's your default answer. Right, but at least it's a positive. That's true. That's true. Well. It's an affirmative. Depending on what was originally hey, hey, said. Hey. It doesn't matter what came before it. It's still an you affirmative. You trying to slash these tires? Yeah. Hold on, wait, what? Hey. Doesn't matter. At least I'm positive. Okay. I'm optimistic. Okay. Now, will that lead to negative consequences? <laughs> we're not talking about those. What we're talking about is the positive attitude that our kid does not have. <laughs> Bring it back to the subject at hand. Hey. Okay. Um... Hmm. Now remember, I didn't have a lot of these on deck, so. Um, I don't even remember all the what I said. I was kind right. of like in the heat of the moment. Mm. And you had them too. You were I did. Rolling. I was at least up to number four. Oh, I got a new one. So, <laughs> why does so we say one thing like, "Oh, we got a new couch for you because we don't want you jumping on our chairs." And so he literally jumps on the new couch <laughs> as if it's his. <laughs> I feel like that's it. That's all I got for that one. He, he does. I mean, we told him, we, we get in the couch, so it's all you, because we don't want you jumping on our new chairs, with yeah. our massaging chairs. And <laughs> that's all he does. He'll run back and forth, jumping on the couch, back yeah. and forth, jump on the couch. In all fairness, he did that with, with the other couch. Mm -hmm. We do make sure he doesn't jump on other people's couches, so I just put that little disclaimer out. And when I say jump on the couch, I don't mean like springy, springy, bouncy, right? Bounce, not take like Sasquatch jump, jump jumped on the couch. Right, bed. like he runs to the couch and then flops onto it. That's, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have any. Oh, yes. Th this is probably my final one, unless you say something. Um, he screams. Oh, he yes. screams, but only when his sister is asleep. He has to scream, but any other time he whispers everything. Mm -hmm. Especially when he's in trouble. Oh yeah. Like he can't say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> but he was just screaming. <laughs> I don't want to go night night. Right. Oh, that was my other one. Oh, yeah. Just it, the, words. Mm. Just their ability. Now nah, he knows how to string sentences together. Their ability to string sentences. Not their ability to talk. Like, I'm grateful mm. he can talk. But his ability to string together sentences. That, I mean, that probably takes, takes mm. the cake. Mm. Because 
yeah that's just oh my goodness those sentences he comes up with yeah i thought you were going to talk about our daughter and oh. uh how she'd be rejecting food even though we know she's hungry <laughs> <laughs> i only think that's because of her teeth even before then though she rejected if she saw the puffs on the table yeah because she she definitely wanted the puffs but that girl's 18 month old belly has not rejected much <laughs> no she hasn't but it's like at the most inopportune time it's all we got this is your only option yeah oh i see dessert let me get the dessert <laughs> yeah yeah she's like and let me tell you how deep rejecting food goes so for any of you that nurse or whatever she found a favorite side because maybe it produces more milk or whatever, but she will no longer nurse on the other side because she don't want it. She only nurses from one side. Yeah, that's how deep it goes with her. I mean, she's 10 months now, so a couple more months, and I, I think it's spitting. She just, she had two, now she's down to one, and then she's about to be at none, so... <laughs> we'll see you got any more I don't think I have any more no. all that to say they're really annoying <laughs> I mean we love them but we to love death. them to death right? like you know we were joking as we were putting Kean down the golden hour is the like five minutes during <laughs> their nighttime routine Mm. It's like the golden hour. It's like you love them so much. They're usually a little sweet because they don't want to go to bed. And you haven't quite like laid down the law like, okay, now go to your room. So they're, they're not throwing the fits yet. So it's just that it's the golden hour. Like as a parent, you see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know they're about to be gone for the next couple hours sleep. And they're just so precious. Mm. Yeah. I, I guess we should call our kids Sour Patch Kids. Oh, they absolutely First they're are. sour, then they're sweet. Our our son will act a um, fool. I, no, I Hold actually want to change wait. that. Wait, wait. Okay. I would rather say they're more like warheads. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think the sour lasts a little bit longer yeah. than the sweet. But I feel and like, then when you bite, there's still a little bit of sour in the middle. Yeah, but I feel like... It could just be in a in a a, a switch like a mm. brief second and then running around getting on your nerves. <laughs> Mommy, you're so beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. Daddy is a boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's his thing. Mommy, Mommy you're, you're so, so beautiful. beautiful. And Daddy's then and then I always respond I'm like, oh, thank you so much. And that is a boy. <laughs> and like complete change of tone. It's got bass to it and everything. Annoying. <laughs> well, that one I think is precious. No, but of course I think like even even in that I think it's it's funny, it's cute. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just funny that they they can be so bad and then in a in a, a brief second to switch, like I said. Now yeah. you're like, oh, that's my son. That's my daughter. I love them so much. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're special. Yeah, one moment they're bringing tears to your eyes because they they're growing up jumped on your toes. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> or, or jumped on your else. leg or something else. And, or something else. Yep. And then the mostly next minute, something else. Mostly something else. Mm -hmm. And then the next minute they make you cry because they're growing up right in front of you. Yeah. Or they like do it, but then they're so sweet. Like after they do it, they're like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so, so very sorry, mommy. <laughs> she yell in your face. <laughs> and then she snuggles and then she with you. <laughs> and then she snuggles with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, clearly, we didn't spend all this time talking about them. Mm. We do love them, but, you know, it's, I think it's healthy for parents to, to parent. acknowledge. <laughs> Well, no, just to acknowledge, like, the truth about kids. Like, the same way we can acknowledge the truth about our friends. Like, mm -hmm. we love them, but we can clearly see their flaws. Mm -hmm. We love our kids, but they're annoying. Like, I just, you know, it's, you just got to own that. I think any parent that's out here, like, the sunshine and rainbows, and they could never see themselves taking a second of 
the day away from their kids. I'm sorry. That must be a baby doll because that is not real. And neither is that child. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody's got to have that. <clears throat> got to be real with themselves. Yeah. Like your, and it makes your it kid fun. is not an angel. No, uh, no. Otherwise, you wouldn't have any work to do. Yeah. Um, but no, every child needs some training. Mm hmm. But that's part of parenting. Yeah, for sure. And it's the stuff you laugh about later. You know, I can see us years from now sitting around talking about what a nuisance they were. And they just, you know, laughing and we're laughing. And, and you know, hopefully their kids will be right there annoying them. And we'll be the good good old grandparents to be like, well, honey, you ready to go home? <laughs> I'm out. Anybody ever apologize to their parents after? All the time. After having All kids of their the time. own. My, I sent my dad a text talking about, I'm sorry for every time I hit you below the belt because I feel like that's what my son does every opportunity he gets. <laughs> yeah, let's see. The last apology I made was, I think it was maybe Mother's Day or something. Um, but I used to just be really critical of my mom because um, she would wear these fanny packs mm. and I would just be like that is not cool like who wears fanny packs mind you there's a 10 year age difference between my younger siblings and me so you know I was older but yeah I just would judge like all the judgment in my heart I wear a fanny pack now you know because it's convenient she requested a fanny pack I sure did I'm hands free I can keep my hands open to like catch someone or I just don't have to worry about it. I don't have to have True. it on my back. It's hot. Mm. Like it's just some of uh, them are fashionable. Mm hmm I want another one. Yes. 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 Cheers. Cheers to that one. Cheers. 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 Childish. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, that was my last apology that I made to my mom. Yeah, that like I said, the, that one I told my pops that was the last one. Yeah, I think when our kids go off to college and they start living with other people, I think that's when I, I expect my apologies to start rolling in. Mm. So, I mean, that's when my apologies started rolling in. So, um, I expect my my first one, at least by the end of their first semester of college, so. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't give any apologies until I got, I had kids. Mm. But for me, it was like apologies for stuff that, like when you see other people, and you're like, oh man, you have like no home training and no act right. Like I gave my mom a hard time for that, mm -hmm. but I'm grateful because now I see but you look extra crazy being that old and like not knowing how to do stuff. So it was those kind of apologies. I understand. Yeah. So anything else? No. Yeah. No. I don't have anything else. Mm -mm. Not regarding our kids and their annoying habits. <laughs> so. No. Mm mm. Mm mm. I rebuke that. These will not be habits. They're this annoying is, this tendencies. This is a stage. This is a a stage <laughs> that they will grow out of. <laughs> Yeah, we're not doing that. Nope. Well, since we're not doing that, we got nothing else to say. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully, you're able to watch it as well. Um, it'll be uh, up on our YouTube channel. Shades of Brown. Mm -hmm. So, uh, until next time. Peace. Peace. Hopefully this works.